four matches before the final. And the Dutch fighter is very aggressive on the ground. Trying for a strangle. But caught the defense well. Well, uh, it's the under 63 kilos, but Vandenberg very tall indeed, certainly compared to Cotter. And how can she use that to help her? Well, definitely a lot of leg techniques could help her because she has that longer reach. She could get better grips more quickly because she has a longer reach. And then when she gets them, she could use her legs for Osotogari or Ochigari. But it was Kota who started with the first Osotogari. Taking down Vandenberg. Now for a score, but enough to start a transition on the ground. Vandenberg does a very smart thing to trap her opponent's both feet. Kota's working hard. Using her hands to hold the Japanese legs as well. Oh, look at that. Oh, transition. but she's got the hold on. And it starts. Yuko Shiogatami. Side four corner hold. Grab the legs, though, so the hold is off. Well, she has to actually cross her feet once she trapped the leg in order for the pin to be broken. She only had the top part of her leg and not the bottom part. So the hold counted, and it was for long enough to give Nana Kota of Japan the win by Ippon and the gold medal here at the Universiad. So in this case, size didn't matter. No. But she could have used those legs to trap her opponent if she had a little bit more time, but she didn't have enough time to escape. So good work to Kota, as well as uh, to her opponent. Second gold medal of the day for the Japanese. Their third gold medal overall here at the uh, Judo, the 30th Universiad. Vandenberg looking very thoughtful there. And I'm sure they'll go back and watch the video and see how she could have done things differently. Oh, I'm sure they will. Is there a lot of video sort of coaching done in judo? Yes. They do a lot of match analysis. It's very time intensive work. You know, especially if you have many players under you and you have to analyze the matches and 